Good afternoon. Welcome to this meeting of the Subcommittee on Landmarks, Public Siting, and Maritime Uses. I'm Councilmember Adrian Adams, the chair of this subcommittee. Today we are joined by Councilmember Ku and are expecting our uh, other members to join shortly. Today we will be holding a public hearing on a school site selection submitted by the New York City School Construction Authority pursuant to section 1732 of the Public Authorities Law. We will also be voting on this application. This pre-considered LU is an application for the site selection of a new, approximately 676 seat primary school facility on property located on the eastern end of the block bounded by 63rd Street to the north, 64th Street to the south, 13th Avenue to the east, and 12th Avenue to the west in Community School District Number 20, Community District 10, and Council Member Menchaca's District in Brooklyn. <clears throat> I now open the public hearing on this item and will read Council Member Menchaca's statement. Good afternoon. I'd like to start by thanking Chair Adams for her willingness to deliver these comments and questions on my behalf. I'd also like to extend my deep gratitude to the School Construction Authority, who has been doing the critical work of finding sites and building new schools in the neighborhoods I represent. Many of the schools in District 20 are overcrowded, and I'm excited that another primary school is on the way to improve the access and quality of schools for our kids. I fully support this application and encourage the committee to vote yes. I do, however, want to reflect some concerns brought to my attention by the local community board. I'm hoping SCA can provide answers to these questions either today, during the hearing, or in writing in the near future. Regarding bus congestion, is SCA aware of traffic concerns from neighbors of the site in question, particularly overnight bus parking near existing schools? Does SCA consider these traffic concerns significant? Does SCA plan to evaluate the unique school bus congestion that neighbors claim is already negatively impacting the neighborhood? Two, regarding a potential driveway, is SCA open to Community Board 10's request that the school design include a driveway to alleviate congestion during school drop-off and pickup times? And by extension, is SCA willing to forego dedicated bus curb parking zones if such a driveway was implemented? Three, the proposed school sits on, on a site adjacent to the historic Angel Guardian Home. Many residents of Diker Heights consider this, architectural, consider this an architectural gem in the neighborhood and are requesting that the new school be designed with respect to this historic character. Does SCA plan to consider a contextual design for this proposed school? Is SCA willing to engage with Community Board 10 periodically during the school design process to elicit feedback? And four, does SCA plan to include open space as part of the design for this school? Thank you, and thank you all for your work to improve access to quality public schools across New York City. Sincerely, Council Member Carlos Menchaca. I now call upon Tamar Smith from the SCA and Gail Mandano from the SCA. Before you begin, Council will swear you in. Please raise your right hands and state your names. Gail Mandaro, SCA. Tamar Smith, SCA. Do you affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony before this committee and in response to all council member questions? Yes. Yes. Thank you. You may begin. Good afternoon, Chairperson Adams, council, and council members. My name is Gail Mandaro, and I am the senior director and senior attorney for the Real Estate Services Group in the New York City School Construction Authority's Real Estate Department. Also with me is my colleague, Tamar Smith, a community relations manager for the SCA. The New York City School Construction Authority has undertaken the site selection process for a new approximately 676 seat primary school facility on block 5739, a portion of a lot one in the borough of Brooklyn. The site contains a total of approximately 24,000 square feet of lot area on a portion of the former Angel Guardian home property. The site is privately owned and comprised of gardens, 
lawn areas, paved walkways, and trees, which served as the recreational space for the former Angel Guardian home. The site is located within Brooklyn Community District Number 10 and Community School District Number 20. It is located in the neighborhood of Diker Heights. Under the proposed project, the SCA would acquire the site and construct a new, approximately 676 seat primary school facility. The notice of filing for the site plan was published in the New York Post and City Record on December 10th, 2018, at which time Community Education Council Number 20, Brooklyn Community Board Number 10, and the City Planning Commission were also notified of the site plan. The CEC and Community Board were asked to hold public hearings on the proposed site plan. Brooklyn Community Board Number 10 held a public hearing on December 11th, 2018, and submitted written comments. Community Education Council Number 20 held a public hearing on December 12th, 2018. Written comments were not received from the Community Education Council or the City Planning Commission. The SCA has considered all comments received on the proposed site plan and affirms the site plan pursuant to Section 1731 of the New York Public Authorities Law. In accordance with Section 1732 of the PAL, the SCA submitted the proposed site plan to the Mayor and City Council by letter dated January 28, 2019. We look forward to your subcommittee's favorable consideration of the proposed site plan and are prepared to answer any questions the committee may have. Thank you. Before you go on, we have been joined by Council Members Traeger and Miller. Please continue. We will take any questions that the Council may have at this time. The only questions that I had were the ones that were brought by uh, the statement by Council Member Menchaca. Can you address any of those questions? Do you remember them? Do you need for me to restate them? No, I'm going to defer to my colleague Tamar Smith okay. who will address those questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I want to thank uh, Council Member Menchaca for his support. It's very important to us. Um, we will be happy to carefully consider the questions that he brought to our attention and answer them in writing um, very soon. Okay, so let me just make sure there are no questions that can be answered right now today. You're going, you're going to address them all separately at another time for him? Actually, we can provide some insight to some of the things. Um, while we have not commenced design yet, we are committed to take into consideration the proposed suggestions for driveways and bus parking issues. And if they work within the programmatic, we certainly would take them under consideration. We will, at some point in our pre-schematic stage, consider those designs recommendations. In addition, um, the site itself and the subdivision that's planned for the site does contemplate open space. So yes, we will be having open space. Um, and yes, we will be happy to update the community board and engage them through the process. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are there any questions from the panel at this time? Council Member Traeger? Thank you very much, Chair, for uh, for this uh, important uh, hearing. Um, and as uh, chair of education uh, in the city council and as someone who is uh, from these neck of the woods and is very much aware of the overcrowding really crisis that District 20 faces, this is a uh, very much needed um, school construction project. This is not even about getting a, a wish list together. This is about a necessity for the city of New York uh, it's my understanding that there are over the need for seats in District 20 exceeds over 10,000. Over 10,000. Um, and can you just repeat for the record? Um, this is an elementary school. Is that correct? Correct. And how many seats? We're anticipating approximately 676 elementary school seats. Um, and this is just one lot that is a part of this whole site, is that correct? It is presently one lot. It's being subdivided, as I understand it, into three. One will be the school lot. And do you know what will be adjacent to this school project? I do not know what the private owner is planning for, um, but I do know that he has been engaged with the community on his project as well. But d have you heard anything about a potential charter school being built right next to this public school? Actually, we've received no confirmation of that at all. I know that at one point it may have been raised, but I do not know any further information probably than anyone else in the community. Because the reason why I ask is because uh, in District 20, there's also a, 
a middle school seating crisis? There's a need for more seats in middle schools in that district. Is, are there any discussions or plans to maybe acquire more space in addition to the lot to address that need? The SCA has acquired the space that was made available for purchase. And are there other sites available for purchase? Throughout Brooklyn? No, in that same In that development? Scenario? Right. Not to my knowledge. All right. I, I just, uh, I, I mean, I, I, and I respect, I, I think my colleague is in support of the project, if that's, if that's correct, Councilman Menchaca. I just want to stress that this is beyond just a wish. This is needed, beyond needed. And I would just strongly urge and support any additional efforts to try to acquire more space uh, in that vicinity to address a 10,000 seat need. That's how serious this is. So again, I want to thank the chair for holding this important hearing, and I definitely want to offer my strong support. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Traeger. I will echo your comments and sentiments as well. Um, whenever we see uh, SCA building in our communities, we have to stress, and I'm sure we're preaching to the choir again, how important this is that we look across the city because um, as representatives of Queens, Councilmember uh, Miller and myself, w w you already know, the need is very, very, very substantial as well. So I thank you very much for your time and your testimony today. Thank, thank you. you very much, Chair. Thank you. Are there any more members of the public who wish to testify on these items? Seeing none, the public hearing on this pre-considered LU is now closed. In accordance with the affected council members' recommendations, we will now vote on this item. We will vote to approve this pre-considered LU, non-ULEP application number 209-5311, SCK, for site selection of approximately 676 seat primary school facility in Community School District 20 in Brooklyn. Council, please call the roll. Adams. I vote aye. Koo. Oh, aye. Miller. Aye. Traeger. A very strong aye. And the vote is held open. Thank you. The vote will be held open for 10 minutes. Thank you.